what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're talking about a few different topics in this video here today we'll be going over final destination 6 and we'll be going over a small update for scream 7 so a few days ago we found out that final destination 6 is going to be filming later this year in july through september and it is going to not be unfortunately giving us the first responders concept that i thought it was going to go down that's not going to go down that path we got a brief pl plot synopsis that gave us our first character name but now in this video what i'm going to share with you is several more character names along with a bigger backstory as to what that grandmother that was mentioned in the plot synopsis has to do with the story and go from there in terms of what this means for the entire franchise because this is all coming from a new audition tape that has been shared with me a couple were actually shared with me shout out to you md you know who you are for sharing that info with me so we know that final destination 6 will be revolving around a young woman named stephanie who has a recurring dream about dying in a fire that occurred in the 1960s she realizes that it's not just a dream but a premonition of the fate that awaits her family her grandmother had escaped the same fate years ago now death is coming after stephanie's entire Entire family and she must find a way to stop it before it's too late so here are some characters you have stephanie her grandmother named esther who was the character that survived the similar fate years ago her brother charlie i presume i assume this is her charlie a character named Derek, and somebody named uncle howard these are the names i heard in the audition tape now of course these could just be placeholders but these are the names that we have to go off of as far as like characters to expect in final destination 6 and I have a little bit more on Esther's premonition from years ago as well. That seems to have a very huge connection to past films, probably. So apparently what Esther did, because remember, she had escaped the same fate years ago. Esther helped hundreds of people escape a tower collapse at a place called Skyview, where hundreds of people would have died. But Esther stopped it. And now death is back to collect that debt because there were so many survivors who had families that shouldn't exist that is why it has taken so long to get back to Esther's family. Because I remember when this synopsis came out earlier this week, people were like, oh, well, why has death taken so long to finally get it get its way back to Esther's family? Well, this is why the nature of what Esther did and what she escaped in the 60s not only applied to her, but it applied to hundreds of people who went on to have families that shouldn't have existed. And death had to kill those families first. Now, all of this has worked its way back to Esther's family. And again, this is all coming from the audition tape. So this leads me to suggest what I think this is suggesting is that Final Destination 1 through 5 characters are related to people who survived that Skyview incident. And if so, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's a little bit messy, but overall, just thinking about it on the surface, that is a pretty cool way to link it back to the previous movies. If any of these people were co connected to Skyview relative or Skyview survivors, that would explain a lot of stuff that went on with previous survivors in past movies if they were connected to Skyview survivors. But we'll see how this goes. Jumping into Scream 7, Josh Shigera recently sat down with Entertainment Weekly. And he expressed interest in returning to the upcoming to the upcoming sequel that we know is going to happen that hasn't been announced just yet. Um, he said that if there's a Scream 7, your boy will be back in 100 percent. We know he played Danny, Sam's new boyfriend in Scream 6. He said this, adding that the relationship between Sam and Danny, I love that. He also acknowledged that despite not being one of the killers, he still acknowledges that fans are suspicious of his character. No matter what Danny did, he will still he was still a suspect even now i've seen all those chatters where people are being like nah he's definitely the killer still i'm like can you just let my man live he just loves sam he wants to be part of the core four he just wants to be nice and protect her now see here's my thing while i would love to think that that's all danny wants to do that might not be what the writers want to do <laughs> they might want you to be the last ghost face for for some time because i'm sure scream 7 will be the last for a good while and they might want you to be like the last ghost face for a good while as a callback to the to the very beginning in which it was a, a a boyfriend ghost face also a callback to their very first entry with scream 5 but if they don't want to do that then yes perhaps you are just some guy keeping sam safe and protecting her but there's already people that speculate that Danny had something to do with the killings in Scream 6 and that he was secretly a fourth killer and that the Baileys didn't do all this alone. And it was very convenient that he had a ladder just sitting there in his apartment like he was all part of the plan. And of course, 
taking pictures of Quinn's attack and not seeing that they were faking it. All of that is some valid things to question about Danny and his loyalty. It's like, okay, bro, how did you not see them faking it? Of course, there's ways for him to not see, but people just are not buying it when it comes to Danny. And he's just this lovable, nice boyfriend. It could be that Josh Shigera has some has some specific roles under his resume that have people doubting the uh credibility of his or the genuine nature of his character he's playing now but going into scream 7 i would love for danny to just be a survivor i'm not really interested in seeing any more boyfriend killers in, in any way shape or form if it ends up being a boyfriend killer and it's executed well i'll give it a pass just as much as i gave richie a pass but i'm not interested in seeing really too much more of billy loomis type reveals not not at all you guys should let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video